Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make these chocolate and peanut butter covered bananas. Now you can dress them up any way you like, but these are amazing. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to do this. Now the first thing you want to do is start off with a banana. Try to pick one that's not too curvy, it'll make it a little easier. Now to make it easy to pull off the banana, I just simply cut part like that, pull, and you're left with a banana. So I have these wooden sticks here. You can use popsicle sticks if you like. It probably will be easier that way because they're a little wider. And just go in from the long end and you're just trying to take the middle, press it down, and try to get it in as far as you can. Right about there, set that aside, and we'll come right back to that. So now just take these, put it on some wax paper, just like that. Set these in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe even a half hour to get it nice and hard because we want them hard for the next step. So now what you want to do is take some smooth creamy peanut butter and you just want to fill it into a glass. This is just a long cylinder glass that I'm going to use and I'm doing that so it, I don't have to put so much in there. You don't have to pack it in that good but you do want to fill it up pretty good, about two-thirds of the way full, at least. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, put this in the microwave, and heat it up for about 20 to 30 seconds on high. Okay, so I got this out of the microwave. What I did was I heated it for 30 seconds the first time, and then the second time I heated it for another 25 seconds after stirring. So this is what you want. You want it to be nice and runny because we are going to dip our bananas in there, and we don't want them to fall out and I'm just going to mix this up really good right now just to make sure everything's mixed in there well. And now I got my bananas out of the freezer. They've been in there for about 25 minutes or so. What I'm going to do now is dip these into the glass and then put them back on the, the wax paper here. We're going to dip it in, try to get it down as far as you can, and you can use your spoon to have it come up even higher. I don't want to go all the way to the top, but I want to cover most of it. And just have it come out and let it drain for a couple seconds. And when it kind of stops draining a little bit, put it right back on the part or the wax paper. Take these and put them back in the freezer. This time only 10 to 15 minutes. It's not going to take long. Take some milk chocolate candy wafers. These are just candy melts. So just take these, put it in a glass that's microwave safe, and we're going to melt these down as well. Okay, so now I've had that in the microwave. I melted it down. Uh, I stopped every 30 seconds or so, mixed it up, and I'm left with this nice runny chocolate, which is good. So now let's get our bananas out of the freezer. Okay, so we have our bananas out of the freezer. Just take this, and just like we did with the peanut butter, dripping it into peanut butter, we're gonna do the same thing. But this time, we're not gonna go up all the way. We're only gonna go so we can still see some of the peanut butter in this layer. I'm gonna dip it down into the chocolate. And just pull it out, and let it drain. And you can just put it right back on the wax paper. So now we're going to do the rest of these and put it back in the freezer for five to ten more minutes. And like I said, take these, stick it back in the freezer, maybe five, ten minutes. Okay, so now I've taken my bananas out of the freezer. They've been in there about 15 minutes or so. Uh, one start to crack a little bit. It's okay. It's still chocolate. It still tastes good. Take a knife, just a butter knife, just to make it look better. It doesn't have to happen. You can keep it on there and just eat that. It'll be fine. And another thing I'm going to do is I just have some peanut butter, the same peanut butter that I melted in the microwave. I put it in a little plastic baggie here. And I'm just going to cut a small hole right like that. And I'm going to drizzle it over top of one of these. I'm not going to do them all, but you could do them all if you want. I'm just going to drizzle just for decoration. Okay, so now it's time for the taste test. I'm going to give this one a shot. I'm going to try the one that I drizzled with some peanut butter 
and give this a bite. Hopefully it tastes real good. I love chocolate covered bananas, but this one takes it a step farther with the peanut butter on there and even with the drizzle over top. And of course you can do it whatever way you want. If you just want to use the peanut butter, that's great. If you just want to use chocolate, that's great. Whatever way you want, you can make these and they're amazing. Well, thanks everyone for watching to see how to make these chocolate and peanut butter covered bananas. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to get new videos every week. And be sure to check out all my social media sites. They're all at Fun Foods YT. Check them out. And if you decide to make these, share it with me. I'd love to see your take on this and how you decorated it. So until then, guys, I will see you next week.